All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this John Stewart figure from McFarlane Toys. And here's the card that this figure comes with, right there. And on the back, John Stewart, 6'1", 200 pounds. And there's a little info. Welcome to pause and read that. All right, and here we have John Stewart figure. Uh, he does not come with a flight, flight base which is a little disappointing uh, it would have been nice if he came with a flight base but he doesn't just a regular circular base and he has this uh, machine gun and he has a backpack and also this uh, translucent vest that he has on or shoulder harness whatever you want to call it and that's all the accessory he comes with uh, one thing i do wish this figure comes with is a fist instead of a gripping hand uh, or or an extra uh, accessory with the gripping hand uh, well, with the fist because that way you could showcase him uh, like he's uh, showing off his uh, power ring but right now it's a little awkward if you wanted to get him to kind of this type of pose he looks great with the machine gun on but just not when he's standing wanted to show off his powering all right and here i have john stewart holding on to the gatling gun with both hands right there here you can see he's holding it with both hands and uh, one thing you might want to do first uh, when you first get this figure out of packaging uh, it's best to soften the hands up with a hair dryer or hot water just so easier for him to grip the weapon because you don't want this construct to break so and those hands are for, for some reason they're super super hard to to pose because usually uh, with figures uh, they will use uh, even softer type of plastic but they didn't uh, this is pretty rigid uh, even though if you soften it with uh, uh, with heat it does soften up well with heat but uh, for some reason these hands are very rigid so it's best yeah definitely uh, definitely recommend uh, heating up the hands first before having him hold the weapon and there's the vest kind of neat looking and you do want to tuck that underneath the um, the emblem for it to stay put otherwise it will flop up and here's the backside you can see his backpack is also translucent really nice Rotate it a little bit so you guys can see it. All right, and here he is without the the upper armor on. And uh, there he is. And as far as range motion, head is on a ball joint. You can look up about that much. So you can give him flight poses quite easily. And he can look down a little bit. Uh, as far as shoulders, they are on hinge joints right there, and uh, it pegs into the chest cavity, so it can move a little bit, so it can give you a little bit of a butterfly. And then uh, bicep does have swivel and double jointed elbows, so it can give you that range of motion. And then there is a ball hinge uh, rest here, so it gives you full range. And then as for the torso, let's see here, you can arch back quite a bit, look at that, but uh, this piece does flap up. Now this is a rubbery piece, so it's okay. And uh, so if you want to do a flight pose, I guess he's capable, but this thing does stick out a little bit. And uh, he could do a crunch, not so much. And then as for the legs, I like these hinge joints for the legs. Uh, it can go up to about, ooh, it could go way over 90 degrees. And then he does have double jointed knees. And there's a ball hinge ankle and toes articulation. So yeah, as far as range of motion, he is quite good. He could do pretty much what you want. Nothing too dynamic though. It would have been nice if we could get a figure that could actually do some dynamic poses like like, like landing poses or some sort of more 
some sort of uh, well, yeah, way more dynamic stuff, like Spider-Man type of dynamic. But unfortunately, hmm, these are the ones we're getting, and uh, I'm still happy with this figure because uh, uh, I have the Hal Jordan from NECA, so it would be nice to have another Green Lantern, in pretty much the same scale as he is. So let me show you guys. Here's Hal Jordan. Let me pull him back a little bit. So let me, let me put Hal over here. So you guys can see. Hal is a little bit shorter than Jon Stewart, but they could definitely go together and they could be a team. And if you go back to back, you can see Hal Jordan is a little bit shorter than Jon Stewart, but not by a whole lot. So this is very, very capable team here. Partners, Green Lantern Core, and uh, it's okay that their suit does not match because uh, each person has their own unique looking suit. So, I'm okay with that. So, yeah, they fit in together quite nicely. I'm happy about that. And uh, yeah, John Stewart definitely worth getting. And um, if you want to customize him, I guess you could. You could also do that. And. Um, just giving someone else's head or something, but it has to be something from NECA because these are about seven inches, right? Yeah, exactly. Seven inches in height, so you would need a head sculpt from pretty much from NECA in order to customize another Green Lantern character or DC collectibles. I wonder if DC collectibles figures are big enough no because they are they are just a little bit shorter so most likely will not work so yeah but he does have a brown color neck so if you give him an, uh, if you give him a uh, Caucasian character then you will need to repaint the neck to a different color but otherwise or you could paint it all green have him all the way up there and then just replace the head that'll be cool too yes so there are some possibility with this guy if you don't if you if you want to buy a second one to customize him to another Green Lantern character and I also have him holding on to Hal Jordan uh, Lantern right there again NECA so there you go uh, John Stewart from McFarlane Toys oh let's get a good look at those eyes they are painted quite good look at that no bleeds whatsoever they are perfectly aligned and uh, the paint job on it is just really really good on John Stewart so uh, yeah I'm very happy with this figure and um, check out the emblem before I end this video and uh, yeah looks great um, highly recommend this and uh, for 20 bucks yeah can't go wrong with it so there you go there's John Stewart from McFarlane Toys thanks for watching